My pleasure, uh, Yop, to have you uh, today in Marseille for uh, the edition of, uh, of the Eye Shade, the 2012 Eye Shade. So you, were, you weren't pr programmed as a speaker, actually, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you took the stage and uh, you, you presented your view on uh, treatment uh, as prevention. Could you please... Uh, sum up in a few sentences uh, what are the, the main uh, messages and hope for the future with this approach. Yeah, I think that there's firm evidence that if somebody has an undetectable viral load that, that they don't transmit the virus. There's been this random big randomized controlled study in discordant couples showing 96% mm -hmm. reduction <coughs> in transmission to partners and the people who are treated early. So we don't have to doubt the, effect of, uh, the efficacy of, of uh, let's say, treating somebody positive for, for prevention. That's one thing. Also, I think we, we need to treat people anyhow as early as possible mm -hmm. for their own health benefit, because we now know that there is no latent phase. We have really destruction of the immune system from the very first day. There is immune activation. There is accelerated aging. The drugs have become safer than several years ago. So why wait? And combining those two, plus the fact that, as we heard from the epidemiology talk, that we still have two new infections versus every person being put on treatment, to me it's simple that treatment as prevention should be an essential component of HIV prevention packages. I, I don't think it's going to be enough alone. I think okay. we still need other uh, prevention modalities, but we certainly should put as many people on treatment as possible. But as it was pointed by the audience, that means universal access to antiretroviral therapy with undetectable viral load. And what's the, what's the situation in poor resources country where you cannot measure viral load and you probably have patients on heart but uh, which are failing heart and nobody knows? Yeah, that's, that's a problem. I think that there's been a wrong emphasis on CD4 cell count measurements versus viral load measurements. And Fortunately, there are some developments where we will have, I think within the next few years, really point of care, relatively simple viral load tests, but it's, it's clear that we have to move to, to measuring viral load and resource processing. S simple well. but affordable? Yes, I think so too, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Y you, th you think, you really think that in the next few years we will be able not only to drop medications in these countries, but also to drop um, medical system of care if they don't have them well it depends on what but the world is willing to spend yes. of course and okay. i think but if we don't if you look at the economist uh, uh, article mm -hmm. last year I if we don't do it it's going to be more expensive that's sure. that's the but the of course politicians always okay. look in okay. relatively okay. short okay. term but uh, as you said if uh, if everybody uh, dies from aids <laughs> today it will be the most cost-effectiveness yeah, approach. That's very okay. cost-effective. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Thank